Hi Russell, uh, this is the Zero G Equipoise arm that you've probably seen on the website and uh, this is basically uh, it's designed for a fixed tool purpose so what we have is we have a couple of boom points um, that allow different rotations uh, we have a weighted base which is a modular system that we fill up with sand or water uh, to obviously counterbalance the weight and we have a fixed tool on a swivel that enables an operator to do any grinding and uh, apparently this type of device has been used in, in aerospace before uh, in the USA but is probably not suitable for exactly what you want. Uh, the reason being is if you look here the operation of this zero G is is via springs and the springs are designed to be adjusted for a single weight purpose. So currently we are looking at a loaded and unloaded weight so at this point in time I think we need to look at something that will uh, accommodate those two circumstances loaded and unloaded. Thanks, Thanks Russell. Russell. Before we come up with the concept I just wanted to show you uh, what I had in mind uh, basically what we, we do build for um, holding nut runners and things like that is an articulated arm. Uh, they, we can build this to any size and, and Perry can go ahead and design a concept for this. But uh, what, we'd, what, we, what we'd be looking to do is have a similar base to what the Equipoise base did where we had a weighted base uh, on a trolley with lockable wheels and uh, we make something like this articulated arm out of very lightweight aluminium and with that lightweight aluminium we'd look to have a boom point at the start so a complete swivel a boom point here and a boom point here now on the end uh, tooling we'd be looking to have two grippers and on those two grippers would allow us uh, to grip the part and also we'd have a manual rotation where we pulled a lever rotated um, to enable us to get access uh, where we need to get access and then lock it back into where it's in vertical orientation and then when, when we, we've come from our, our stillage uh, to our loading point we'd then uh, disconnect the pneumatics and uh, we'd, we'd allow that to release. We could do a couple of things so that they couldn't actually release uh, the part until it was uh, put in like having some sort of proximity so, uh, or a PE, so we could put, introduce that as well so that the operator uh, didn't accidentally drop the part prior to it being loaded onto the workpiece. So yeah, this is the type of arm, it's a pneumatic arm which means that we can control the up and down motion and, uh, and the post would be, as I said before, similar to the equipoise post and the arm would have the articulation to be able to go 360 degrees. So. The arms just simply move up and down. That's actually got no pneumatics on it at the moment, but you can see the operation of the unit would allow us to access all the areas. Thank you, Russell.